Okay, so it's finally here. Apple has officially released today iOS 16 and developer beta 4. Yes, a lot of you guys have been waiting and I guess we can officially say that Apple is on a two weeks release schedule, although the last beta was released on the 11th. Today marks two weeks and two days. So I'm thinking Apple will be shifting to a two weeks release schedule for the next beta from here on out, right? So beta five, beta six, and so on. And now public beta two, that is not out as of the filming of this video. You can follow me on Twitter for more details on that, but you can expect the public beta two, which is the same as developer beta four, within the next 24 to 48 hours or so. Now we can head on over into settings here, and if we go into general, we go into about, here is the latest bill number for the latest beta, right there it is. We're gonna go with 20A5, three two eight h and that's going to be the latest bill number for ios 16 and developer beta 4 and of course in this video we're going to talk about some of the changes happening here and apple continues to polish the software it feels more complete i'm going to share with you guys some additional changes within the software of course right now now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates don't forget to subscribe make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now aside from ios 16 and developer beta 4 apple today released ipad os 16 developer beta 4 for the ipad of course a mac os 13 beta 4 is out however watch os did not receive a beta today we probably see this later today or tomorrow here and a tv os 16 beta 4 so the only software did not see an update was watch os not sure why apple will do that but i guess we'll find out at a later time so let's get to some some of the changes here within the latest beta and again this is my initial first look so i'm sure there's going to be a lot more things that i'll come across after using the software for a couple of days so make sure to stay tuned subscribe and make sure you check back for the follow-up here in the next couple of days now the first thing i want to talk about is the lock screen apple has added a new text and plus indicator right there to add widgets so this device here is running beta 3 and if we go into customizing mode you see that for the adding widgets options we don't have that option but in beta 4 we definitely have that change here now there's also a change to the depth effect and if we go to this device here once again we now have only one option which is the depth effect the perspective zoom has been removed from this uh, particular part of the lock screen for whatever reason so yeah those two things are happening there within the lock screen and also there's something going on here with uh, the actual wallpaper so if we go into the wallpapers here in beta 4 so let's jump into the lock screen here and go to the wallpapers we have a new category there or not new this category was already there but a new category added to this particular section which is the photo shuffler this one here allows you to add certain photos that will shuffle through when you unlock your device this option does not appear to be on any of my ios 16 beta 3 devices so yeah that looks to be a new option available here on the latest beta so let's go back here and let's talk about the actual deleting of the lock screen wallpapers this has changed as well so if we go to delete here in beta 3 we only get the delete button now we get delete this wallpaper option description is slightly different as well so hopefully you guys can see that and there's also changes to the wallpapers category so if we go into wallpapers here in beta 4 on the left let's go into the wallpapers categories and let's go into the wallpapers categories here and if we go to customize the home screen wallpaper the current wallpaper we now have this really cool blur effect option on the right side of the screen where you can blur the actual background just like so it is super cool i really like this new feature and option added to the wallpapers of ios 16 developer beta 4 as you can see right there now there's also some changes happening to the app store we got a new splash screen here for the app store and there's also a new splash screen for the notes application with an ios 16 beta 4 as well now as we head on over into settings and i talked about this feature before we go under accessibilities we now have a new option to control nearby devices so any device that's logged in with your Apple ID and password and it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network can now be controlled using this device here. So right there it is. We can control nearby devices. Right now I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. As you can see right here, I have this iPhone here that's sitting on the table as well where I can go ahead and control if I wish to do so. Now it is spotty. The network and the feature is spotty when it's time to connect. But it is a feature that allows you to control other devices with the device you have on your hand, which 
which is super cool. I do have a demo of that. I'll link that in the description down below. It is kind of buggy, but it is a new feature coming to accessibilities here within iOS 16 developer beta 4. Now, last but not least, I also want to talk about a new feature for developers that Apple has now added the ability for developers to implement live activities or live notifications to the lock screen of iPhone within iOS 16 developer beta 4. So for example, if there's a live sports event, you can follow the scores and everything that's happening live within the lock screen of iPhone. Or if you just call for a ride on Uber or something like that, you can track where your Uber is without constantly getting a bunch of notifications. So live notifications and activity has been enabled for iOS 16 developer beta 4. And of course, I'll be digging around the software for additional new features and changes. So make sure you stay tuned and make sure to subscribe for more additional follow-up videos on iOS 16. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.